to another Disney reading. Today we have Disney's Leo and Stitch, Homework Helper, which is showing us October 23rd. Stitch didn't care for weekdays much now that Lilo was back at, in school. To Stitch, they were the longest and most boring days of the week, spent waiting, and waiting for Lilo to come home. And so you can imagine, Stitch's excitement went three o'clock finally rolled around and Lilo's school bus dropped her off. Lilo! Stitch would shriek racing down to meet her. Playtime, playtime! Lilo and Stitch, playtime! And usually, Lilo would toss her backpack onto the porch and they would hop on her butt, her trike. But then, one day, Lilo didn't drop her backpack and she didn't run after Stitch. Sorry Stitch, we, we all, was all she said. My teacher says if I don't start doing my homework, she's going to have a talk with Nanny. And Lilo certainly didn't want that to happen. Her sister had enough to worry about, and so did Lilo. And so with that, Lilo went inside her house, took out her school books, and sat down at the dining room table to study. Stitch didn't understand. Homework? He said, peeking into Lilo's backpack. What's that? Homework, said Lilo, is maths problems, and a book report, and a week's worth of spelling words that I have one day to learn. Now, please, Stitch, be a good alien and shoo. But Stitch wasn't about to give up so soon. He was back in less than a minute with a basket full of Lilo's favourite action figures. You've got to be kidding, said Lilo. I'm not playing superheroes. Can't you see I'm busy? Noogie Bay, muttered Stitch. This was the very frustrating, but Stitch loved a challenge. <laughs> Off he ran again, and this time came back wearing a, a catcher's mask and vest carrying a basketball, is that, sorry, is that a baseball and a bat and Lilo's glove. Play ball, Stitch shouted, and for a second there, Lilo almost got up. Then she shook her head. No, Stitch, she sighed. If I don't start these spelling words now, I'll never finish them tonight. Stitch fought for a second, then dashed off, da dashed off once again. Lilo could hear all sorts of banging and slamming coming from her room. It sounded as though Stitch was turning up it upside down. Oh great, she thought to herself, but at least he's leaving me alone. Then, to Lilo's surprise, Stitch once more appeared before her, carrying a book of crossword puzzles under his arm. Lilo, play and spell words, Stitch cheerfully told her. Why didn't I think of that? said Lilo. Stitch, you can help me with my homework anytime. <laughs> so guys, if you enjoyed that story, click like. If you'd like to see more, click subscribe. And the next story is going to be Toy Story 3. My heart belongs to Daisy. So guys, I will see you very soon. Bye bye. <laughs>